I'll be making parameters and queries in reports today, so let's start. And we're supposed to make a query for each one of these departments to gather the employee office phone, first name, and last name. So with that, we're going to make a query in Query Design, Employees Table, the first name, last name, office phone, and department. We're going to type Aquatics as one of the departments and all of the employees for the aquatics department are shown. I'm going to type another one for golf and all of the golf employees show. We're going to make another one for grounds and all of the grounds will show. And another one for active lifestyles. And all of the active lifestyles show. There's another way that you can make this a lot easier, which is a parameter query. So you make it in create query design. Your employees, first name, last name, office phone, and department. Instead of typing the department name in the criteria box, we're going to type a square bracket, which indicates to access it, this is going to be a parameter. And we're going to type which department and close it with a square bracket. You run it, your parameter pops up here. You type in a department, that department shows. Or we'll save this so we can uh, open it again. Show you the parameter. There it is. Type in a different one, golf. All of the golf employees show. With this, you can also make them in your reports. Having your query selected, you click Create and Report. Parameter shows golf. All of the golf show. As soon as you close it, reopen it, you can type in a different one. Let's do that. Type in aquatics all of the aquatics employees show in the report. Instead of making 12 queries for each department, you make one query and you can type in the department name and filter through all the information that way. And that's how you make parameters in your queries and reports. Thanks for watching.